Uh, thank you for joining me this afternoon, and uh, I want to share in this session, uh, encourage those out there that are concerned about whether they will go in the rapture. Uh, there's, because of a certain amount of fear they have, because they look at themselves and they, they, they feel like they don't measure up, or they're, they're not worthy to go in the rapture. Uh, this message is to encourage you if that's your situation. And also to build a foundation for those who uh, who know that they're going to the rapture, but to, to reassure you of the fact is that uh, what the scripture teaches in regard to uh, those that would be accounted worthy. You know, there's a scripture in the book of uh, Luke where the Messiah, uh, Yahushua, said uh, that we were to pray always that we might be accounted worthy to escape all these things that were going to come to pass upon the earth. And of course, he was making reference to the day of Yahuwah or the day of the Lord, also in reference to uh, the Daniel's 70th week or Jacob's trouble, or the time frame referred to as the tribulation by most people today. So, but he was, when he was said that, that we were, were to pray that we might be accounted worthy to escape, and of course, the rapture is an escape. It's an escape from the judgment that is destined to come upon this world. And uh, But you and I, if you truly are born again of the set-apart spirit, you are already accounted worthy to escape the things that are going to be coming upon the earth. And so I want to share some scriptures to, to build your faith, to help reassure you that if you have trusted in the Messiah, Yahushua, as your Savior, if you recognize that by your own works, your own deeds are as filthy rags, that there's nothing you and I can do that would uh, cause you and I to be accepted before the Father. The only thing that pleases Him is our faith, our faith in His Word, in the fact that He said that everyone that will look to the Messiah, Yahushua, and uh, believe that he died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was raised again for our justification, that everyone that would put their faith and trust in him, that they could receive the set-apart spirit, the Holy Spirit, and those that, that, that would put their faith in him, that he would account that as righteousness for us. Just as Abraham believed Yahuwah, and that was accounted to him for righteousness. So I share with y'all a number of videos in the past that righteousness, the righteousness that you and I need or a person needs to partake of is not his own, but he needs to partake of the Messiah's righteousness. The scripture says, therefore, if any man be in Messiah, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new and all things are of Yahuwah. In other words, it's his work. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10 says, we are his workmanship created. <laughs> I love that word right there, created. In other words, uh, this is an act that you and I have no control of doing. We can't recreate anything. We can't uh, make ourselves new. We can uh, believe the gospel. We can believe the word that Yahuwah has given us. And once a person truly puts their faith and trust in him, and they're not relying on their own self-efforts or their own works in order to gain acceptance into the kingdom of Yahuwah, then if you're doing that, if you're putting your faith and trust in the Messiah, you're doing exactly what the scripture says. A person has to recognize his need for a savior. You have to, a person has to recognize that, that we all have sinned and come short of the glory or the esteem of Yahuwah. We've all fallen short. We, every human being has, has inherited down through uh, each generation the, the, the nature, that the, the fallen nature of Adam when he sinned and uh, he passed death on down to mankind. And the only way out of that death or out of that situation is to be born again of the Ruach HaKadosh, the set-apart spirit. And the only way that can happen is for you to put faith and trust in the Messiah. And if you'll do that, then Yahuwah will, will reward you and I by giving us his spirit. And that is the earnest of our inheritance. It's the down payment guaranteeing <laughs> that uh, the redemption of our body. That's what the rapture is all about. 
we're waiting for the redemption to be complete, the redemption of our body. But again, I want to reassure you that it's not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but it's according to his mercy he saved us. No one will be able to boast before him and, de and declare that because of their good works or their good deeds that they've earned their right into heaven or even their right to, to, to be in the rapture simply because of their good works, their actions. In the same, in the same manner, those that, uh, say that are really truly born again but are not paying attention to the signs of the times, they're not really aware that the rapture is about to happen, but they are born again, they will go in the rapture. It's all true believers in the Messiah. And it's because the reason for that is because we uh, are part of the body of Messiah. We are part of what the church, the, the scripture says, the church, which represents Jew and Gentile believers in Messiah. See, we become one new man in Messiah, both Jew and Gentiles that have put their faith and trust in, in the Messiah. And that's what the, the, the scriptures refers to as a, a unique set apart group of people, Jew and Gentiles who have become part of the church. We are the bride of the Mashiach. We will, uh, he will come to, to receive us unto himself as he promised in John chapter 14, verses one, two, and three, that he was going away to prepare a place for us, but that he would come again and take us and receive us unto himself. And of course, where has where he gone? He's in the Shama'in. He's in the, the Father's house. He's in the heaven. He's coming back to receive us unto him. And then once that happens, then the, 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 the judgment of Yahuwah is going to come upon this earth for those that have rejected the Messiah uh, it's also going to be a time for Jacob's trouble where he's going to use their this time of tribulation and distress upon the, the world to bring them to a recognition of who their Messiah is. So we'll pick this up on our next session. So I hope this encourages you. I want to give you some more scriptures along the same line to prove to you that if you are born again, you are a, an overcomer. The Bible says that whosoever believeth that Yahushua is the son of Yahuwah, he is <clears throat> an overcomer. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Until next time, shalom.